Hey guys, it is, well, me, um, by the way, I don't know if I've informed you or not, but, uh, my gaming channel is Andrew the Minecrafter, I have not posted a video in a couple months, and that's because I've been getting this set up right over here, you'll see in a second, it's not the wall, it's not that, that poster over there, of, Okay. Anyways, um, what I wanted to show you is a tutorial on how I got this set up and how it all works. So, I'm running on HDMI right now, and the sucky part is, please, please do not give this a dislike because you do not get this cord. It does not... Yeah, it's backwards again. I need to fix that really badly. But anyways, um, so I'm um, I'm using the crappy for iPhone. So, anyways, um, we're not here to discuss that. But um, the cord that you're gonna need, um, I'll put a link down in the description for uh the Best Buy link. It should be where you are if it isn't in stock or isn't where you are then you're gonna have to like buy it off eBay or Amazon. This lady's freaking bugging the shit out of me. Um anyways, so I'm gonna turn this light on. Anyway, so what you're gonna need? A computer. One second, let me just pause the video and I'll be right back when when the camera will be turned around. Okay, we're back. Um and so you're gonna need a computer. And yeah, mine's a Mac themed computer, but anyways, um, so uh, a laptop would probably do the trick. It needs to be right by your PS3 though, and buy it right by this. So, anyways, this is the gaming setup that I have. Um, anyways, um, this is the cord that I was talking about right here. It's uh, um, uh, PS3 component cable, which is what you're gonna need, and it's exactly like this, except one cord, like these cords right here, are together, and it's for PS3, like, um, so that part right here comes down to here, right to here, back over to here, from here, into the PS3. Um, let me grab my flashlight. Right into right there. <sighs> so you plug that in to the uh, component video in, and the cords that come with the diamond HD game capture. You plug those ones in right here in the component video out and then plug them into the back of your TV sorry I'm this is upside down but you're gonna have to turn your head I'm sorry but anyways um so once you've got that hooked up um, plug this, this is the power cable into your laptop or computer I'd suggest laptop because it's a pretty good portable little tiny device. But anyways, um, let's get down to business. So um, once you've got that all hooked up, what you're going to want to do, because that's the component cables hooked up, leave a comment if you didn't understand something. So now you're going to, um, shit. Uh... I honestly, I'm gonna have to do it like this. I'm sorry. Okay, so I've got a. I'm holding this in one hand, so I'm not gonna be the best. Yes. So, you're gonna go to the main screen of your PS3. Sorry, I don't have an Xbox, so if you're looking for an pers a person with an Xbox to set this up, screw off from this video. Not offensively, but. Um, you know. This isn't your video then, because this is for PS3. I don't, 
I used to have an Xbox, but it was one of the shitty old ones. Um, video, going to video outputs, or, oh my gosh, I, I was, yes. So I'm in HDMI right now, what you're going to do is go to the, it looks like a toolbox or whatever, right next to where you would sign into your users, go into that, scroll down to display settings, click on it, it'll take you to here, click on video output settings then scroll down one until you reach component slash d terminal then click x then click change now really quickly you're going to want to go into your tv and go into the um... click on input and go into the component channel before it changes now click yes and now click standard yeah blah 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 enter okay now click this if that's yours and okay enter and most people just do finish and now you're on the component setting now fucking up the um screen recorder now what you're going to want to do is um it comes with a disc. Take that disc, insert it into your computer, and a bunch of software will come up. Look in your manual on how to set it up and all that, because I've already set it up and I don't want to feel like going through the steps and all that crap. So, anyways, um, then you're gonna once it's all set up, um, go into the DM cap. Sorry, it's kind of okay. Oh yeah, I'm already in DM cap. So, um, if this doesn't come up and stuff, go into source input, change it to capture card, comp, what's it say? Composite. Capture card composite. And, um, then you should be good to go. And if you aren't, then leave me a comment because I figured out really pretty much everything except for if you know more than me help me figure out on how to change this from black and white to actual non black and white in color because it has been black and white for me see that? see that? that's color black and white so anyways to record just click right here you can't see it's too much damn light um, at the end of it there's like a button with a red circle in the middle click on that record and to stop it right click in the middle of the screen and it'll say stop recording click on that and then you've stopped recording so you can set it up by just going over to here and clicking on setup which will just bring you to here and all that crap and done, just press exit and all that. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys, and bye.